there are many FPV video systems on the market. And right now we will unbox a new Edge T3 digital video system. So we will open this, look at the content and then I will go to some of the specifications that I find important. I know, even if this part is the most interesting part of this video, I will speed it up a little bit. First, you can power up the VTX with a voltage between 6 and up to 28 volts. So, 6x pack can be used. The VTX has a maximum transmission power of 2000 mW, which can be configured manually from the receiver module, starting with 20 mW. This means mainly that between the VTX and the receiver there is a bidirectional communication link. It is considered that all is above 800 mW is for long-range flights or area with substantial environmental interference. Based on this link, you can send video, telemetry for PX4 and Ardu pilot, and radio control. There are also two antennas. This means diversity, or maybe better, true diversity. The VTX and the camera unit weight 44 grams. The receiver unit has an internal 5000 mAh battery, allowing for an autonomy of 80 up to 100 minutes. This receiver ground unit can send video data to a monitor. You can also connect a smartphone or a laptop through a Wi-Fi and get the video data. However, to connect this unit to a monitor, you need a USB-C to HDMI cable that is not included in the package. Now the 35 km long range discussion. The DJI company has a sort of harder software hard limitation. If you use Google version 2 for both CAD Vista and DJI O3 Air units, the limit is 13 km. In the case of Google 2 and Integra, the limit is 30 km for CAD Vista and 23 km for DJI O3 Air unit. Accordingly to the datasheet, the maximum transmission range for DJI O4 Air unit is 15 km, based on an emission power of 1200 mW. I had no opportunity to fly this unit yet, but I expect that this range will be slightly more than 15 km. For HD0, which has no hard limit, the distance limit can be extended further, but this is a cost. If this system goes for 35 km, it is very impressive. 